Hi everyone, Adam Mackman from Key of Newmarket. Welcome to the swamp. I'm just here to introduce the brand new 2011 Kia Sportage. What a beautiful machine. Completely redesigned from the old body style. It looks exactly like nothing from before. Let's start off with the front of the vehicle. Absolutely beautiful styling set up by, of course, our chief designer, Peter Schreier. What he went for up in the front, nice swooping lines, everything really tied together nicely. You'll notice that everything is connected in the front grille right off the fog lights themselves, which are standard on this vehicle, wrapping all the way around to the other side so it never actually breaks up a line across the front. Looking up at the front grille, again, it's the Tiger II style grille, which is exactly what he's trying to do, set up a real Kia brand, and this is definitely a great place to start. Coming right around to the side, we've got just a beautiful side to front profile headlight with a projector light inside, another standard feature on the 2011 Kia Sportage. You'll notice that this wheel well actually protrudes out quite a bit, and the reason it does that is to give it a really, really aggressive looking stance. When you're standing at the front of this vehicle, as I'm sure you guys can tell, it just looks like it's ready to pounce or ready to take on something like where we are right now. Coming around to the side, this one happens to be an EX model, so we've got the 17-inch uh, alloy wheels. Aluminum wheels are standard on the Sportage, like the previous generations, but just a great new style uh, rim design on there. Looking further up the side of the vehicle, we've got indicators into the side mirrors, and just in case someone happens to bump into you, don't worry about it. It'll fold away for you. Moving around to the back of the Kia Sportage, so many little details that have just changed everything about it. We've got five liter integrated tail lights into the back that wrap all the way around the side of the vehicle. Just creating such a depth look. Hard to tell in the sunlight right now, but it just is absolutely gorgeous. You'll notice that the indicators have been moved down to the bottom part of the bumper. Just really stands out to everybody who's coming up behind you. Let them know what's going on. And just following the lines right across to the other side. You'll notice that there's no handle actually on the back of this. It's not hidden underneath the Kia logo like you'd mainly think, but it's actually tucked just over here, right where the license plate is. Again, just like the outside, they've pretty much gone and threw out all the old and brought in all the new. Some really key features that I always like to point out in them are the fact that Kia always has a ton of standard features. Keep in mind that this model that we're sitting in is an EX model. It comes with all the luxury features, believe it or not. Uh, audio stuff, cruise control on either side of the steering wheel. Bluetooth on these are also standard, just like every model that you get in the Kia. Uh, and this actually even is voice activated as well. Microphone's kept right up on the ceiling, right above your head. So it's gonna pick up all your voice real clearly. When you go with this model, and actually uh, all the models, you now get automatic lights. So we can flip that to auto and you never have to worry about it anymore. They're all based on an ambient sensor straight up on the front section there. Uh, so you don't have to worry about turning your lights on and off. We've got automatic climate control up here on the display. And you'll notice actually just looking at this whole dash setup while we're checking out the different displays, that it actually follows that same line that Peter Schreier was really going for. Notice the angles here, the angles here. Even above me, or in front of me, right on the steering wheel, there's an angle that cuts right on the inside here. Everywhere there's specific angles and designs that just make it really specific and is not really gonna match anything else out there. Other really nice things that they added to the Kia Sportage standard, Sirius satellite radio is now in here. We've got an outside temperature gauge up front with a trip computer on it, so it'll actually tell you how far till empty, your average liters per 100 kilometers, uh, an instant fuel readout at any time, and other things like that. I mean, trip computer, you used to have to go with a luxury version to get those sorts of things. Other things that are standard in the Sportage, heated seats, and if you go with the luxury version, you even get cooling seats. Not too bad. iPod auxiliary, USB, all plugged into the bottom here, right beside two power outlets. So if you've got all your devices, easy to plug in, don't have to worry about it. The gearbox, like I was mentioning before, is a six-speed automatic transmission. They still give you the ability to put it around into drive and drive it usually. Shift it across to one side and I'm in Steptronic mode. No problem going through the gears one to the other. Really makes it easy for driving, give you that sport feel. You're going to love this vehicle, you're going to love driving it, and you're going to definitely feel good when you're sitting on the inside of this. What a cockpit.
In addition to the standard electronic stability control, you also get vehicle stability management on this vehicle, and that provides you an ultimate driving experience, whether it's on or off-road, winter or summer driving, and even out here in the swamp. The most anticipated part of the 2011 Kia Sportage is the drive. Unbelievable. It has that suspension system that I was talking about with the two cylinders to adjust the ride height. Also has a little bit more active steering control on it that's actually integrated with the stability control uh, that also has a vehicle management system on it. These are all really advanced things, things you wouldn't expect on a vehicle in this price range. Just the way it drives, the four-cylinder engine is paired to a six-speed automatic transmission. You actually have Steptronic shifting in it as well, so as we're coming up to this light, I can actually slow us down and not even have to use the brake. Really is nice to have, especially on those really slippery days, something that's you know gonna save on the brakes a little bit. It's gonna give you, you know, just a little bit more fun when you're driving. Steptronic shifting is really an underrated thing that actually will save a lot on your brakes and give you a really sporty feel when you need it. The Kias themselves, of course, are covered under a five-year, 100,000-kilometer warranty. That's fully comprehensive, engine and powertrain, and you even get roadside systems with it. Kia of Newmarket also pairs it with a 12-month vehicle return policy. We also include a 2.7 cents off gas card as well with every purchase. Service loaners, whenever you need them, just basically call in advance. Talk to my good buddy, Alan Barker and he'll look after you. They put a lot of effort into the build quality. You can even feel it in the ride, the drive, the substance of this car. It's just unbelievable. Ergonomically designed heated and cooled seats will keep you comfortable on those long drives up to the cottage. Fun to drive, head turning style, you'll be looking for excuses to go out. But one quick tip, when you're looking for a parking spot, be selective. Don't let anybody park too close. Aye! Let's go find that croc, baby!